hello guys welcome to this definitely works this is part number six which is the last in this series and in this part we'll be having a look at python code for plotting the log data that is the data that we have collected by running the script which i have discussed in part five so it's kind of offline plotting of the data and it can be as large as week or month so let's get started now to I mean, what's the real use of this temperature logger if we can't, I mean, so main purpose is like we can take the reading for whole day or a whole week or something and then we can plot and see the change in the temperature variation. So what I did was I took the reading of 24 hours, I started around 9, night 11 clock and then I took the reading till the next day 10 hours so technically it's just 23 hours of data and then I used this code so that collection of data and logging was done by the code that I showed you uh, in the part before this one so that is a temperature logger uh, python script in which you can take the data from serial port and store it and plot it on the real time so if you have not seen that video i just encourage you to go and have a look at that video and in this part uh, we are i mean uh, I'll, we'll go through the code that was used to plot the data of that 24 hours offline you can say after collecting the data so for doing that you'll have to import these classes that is matplotly pyplot as you did in the last only the last video also then there is matplotlib again for dates and we need to import date and time numpy and time next we are creating this x and y arrays that will be used for plotting then we will open that logged file so while logging this will be in the write mode now we are opening it is in the opening it in the read mode then we will read whole file by putting it through that slash n that we entered at the end of each data so we'll close the file so this our sep file variable will have and it will be a kind of array which will have the with each unit as the data temperature data plus that will be a time related to it so next we are defining a function which will average out the value yeah so I and mean we as yes, our sensitivity is for of our ADC was around 25 millivolt so uh, the data will just and because of some noise around in the surrounding our switching noise of our, our microcontroller the data I mean the 25 millivolt is very small not very small but a kind of small voltage so it will have a noise also so we'll just average out by using this function and the way I mean this window will act as our I mean how much elements do you want to take and average out so we'll just keep it as three values and we'll average it out that I'll talk later so this function is used for averaging the values then this function is uh, used to separate out the time and the temperature data because we are, we are storing the timestamp uh, followed by comma and then there was a temperature value so this function will help us in separating out those two values and we'll put them in this x and y so x will be containing our timestamps and y will continue our temperature then we'll average out by using that moving average function with the window of three and we'll give it as our temperature values for averaging out then we'll plot this function by using this plot I and mean we'll plot that graph using this this function and these are for doing the title x label y label and this is just to beautify the x label and this function the final plot I think so this code was used to plot the data and now I will show you the plot that we have so now if we run that uh, python script uh, on the data that we have logged 
i mean on the day i i mean i ran this code was this 20 i mean the day on which i logged the data was 21st july 2015 so i got my room temperature profile something like this so at night around 6 am it got this uh, reading of 23.7 and then around 10 12 in the noon temperature started raising and around 5 pm uh it started raining so we can see there was a drop in the temperature it is not that significant but there is a kind of uh, you can say a pattern that is i mean it's a continuous decrease there is no some random motion is a continuous decrease and then uh, around after 6:30 7 st- the rain stopped so the temperature again rose and yeah this was the profile so you can say this kind of uh you we can interpret different things by looking at our temperature profile and things to note is that uh, this temperature profile is i mean i was i kept the system on and went to my lab so the room was i mean almost closed for whole whole day so that's why you, you are i mean unable to see a huge variation in the temperature data and the two room is also of quite small dimension so i mean that's why it's kind of i mean the dynamic range is not too much and uh, regarding the delay i i mean i took everything around 2 minutes and uh, yeah regarding this i mean the python scripts uh, there are some plot holes uh, that i will write to tell that uh, for logging when you are opening our you are uh, the uart port uh, you need to write sudo before that command because we are accessing the hardware so that will require the password of the system then yeah for running this uh, python scripts uh, numpy and matplotlib and all you need to install them without that also this thing won't work so finally yeah this is how our temperature logging thing will work and if you have any doubt regarding code schematic or any of the python python script plotting or logging you can just mention that into mention them in comment section and i will be happy to reply and if you like those vi- these videos subscribe to the channel you can also have a look at previous videos that are on esp8266 and accelerometer and yeah thanks for watching